While the idea of AI-powered glasses from tech giant Google and stylish eyewear brand Warby Parker has already made quite a splash, it looks like we'll have to wait a bit longer to actually see them in the wild, or on our faces. Warby Parker's co-CEO has confirmed that these much-anticipated smart glasses won't launch until after this year, and while that might disappoint early adopters and tech enthusiasts, it's not all that shocking. I mean, think about what they're trying to pull off. A pair of glasses that look stylish and lightweight and pack in AI smarts, solid battery life, privacy features. Yeah, not easy. And to make matters worse, global tariff complications aren't exactly helping things move faster. The project was officially announced at Google's I.O. 2025 developer conference, and this is where things start to ramp up. Google isn't just dipping its toes in, they're all in. They've committed up to $150 million to this partnership. That breaks down to $75 million for product development and launch, and another $75 million as an equity investment in Warby Parker, provided certain milestones are hit. The first model, it's expected to support multimodal AI, so it won't just hear you, it'll see and understand your environment too. Voice, visuals, context, all processed in real time. And yes, they'll be available in both prescription and non-prescription options. Whether your vision's perfect or you squint at text messages, you're covered. Um, this isn't just a branding gimmick either. Warby Parker brings serious design credibility and Google's stuffing those frames like with Android XR and Gemini AI. In other words, they're not just gonna look smart, they'll be smart. And while Google and Warby Parker are still fine tuning their lenses, Meta's not sitting still. It's rumored Hypernova glasses may feature built-in displays right in the lenses. So yeah, a smart glasses battle is brewing, then there's Amazon's Echo Frames, Snapchat's AI-powered spectacles, and Apple's still rumored AR glasses. Smaller players like Xreal and Envision are pushing boundaries too. And don't forget, Samsung's working with Google on AR hardware. Basically, everyone wants a piece of your face. Let's just hope by the time these things drop, they're not already outdated by whatever Meta, Apple, or some random startup cooks up in the meantime. Because in this race, blink and someone else is already on your face. With that said, we are at the end of this video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.